clockwork orange. A clockwork orange. Ha! Inverted. And again, false arches. My name is Prisco. Yeah, it is obviously a poor cyclistic art project for Megashock, aka El Gariaga. Septin of two thousands with a bulb of tilted. And a pop art die. It's of course it is, it's uh, world run into Saddle Shock. Here it is of Dr. Orlovsky and the upcluding and concluding feature film The Tentacles of Dr. Orlovsky, set in the 1990s with a Volvo filter and a pop art vibe. My name is Puis Ron and this is being shot in the old blue. Yeah, this location is needed, it's raining, of course it is, so I'll just uh, keep walking. Since it's a for Citrusic Art project, and uh, anyway, my name, uh, my name is Frank Swan, it will be part of the advent calendar of Megashock, aka El Goriag, it's the third advent calendar since Two already exist uh, back in 94. <laughs> well, it's like the advent calendar of Dr. Lovsky, which has 24 parts, and then it's the advent calendar of Fu Manchu, which also has two parts. Uh, the advent calendar of Megashock will also have 24 parts, and uh, will just be, well, what you're seeing right now, our stuff. And Stuff like that, it's like, yeah, Force Futuristic Art is my game, and Please Run is my name. You know the story by now. And again, false start. This is the Zubu. Uh, yeah. Looking for some umbricks, or just bricks. Oh. And again, we have a racist party in Parliament called Sverigedemokraterna. Yeah, there's no girl from us here. Let's go ask it all. Okay. Well, uh, the advent calendar of Megashock goes on and uh, cars so far, it kind of reminds me of the Waltz Tower. Ah, mom! <laughs> a, a car with license plate mom just drove by. It's funny. Because of course it is. Anyway, it reminds me of Bolstan, Korn, Mersta, Derspi. You know, the outer regions in Stockholm area, if you say. Uh, it's a COVID-19 situation going on, but that doesn't change much, right? No! There's nothing saying that, nothing really is saying that. It's the advent calendar of the mega show. Uh, yeah. So that is the third advent calendar since I made two 200 trailers for Sarshot Voices of Dr. Olovsky and, um, and the Tentacles of Dr. Olovsky. And I fully intend to create and release 200 trailers for Megashock, aka Lugoyaga, planned premiere in 2023. Dream 2020, Dream 2023. Since that means that the 400 trailer project will be concluded in 2023, which brings Megashock aka El Goriaga as a force. It was a short film project planned release since 2023. And uh, well, an anime calendar is, of course, 24 parts. So it's 24 parts. It's Telenovela, chapter one, chapter two, trailers, random trailers, trailers, trailers. Since I am Chris Rom, one of the 400 who went to Liverpool in 2017, not really moving on at all. Uh, that was on the 23rd of August from 2017, and the same year that Sadoshot was shown in public. Uh, so I am page 257. In 2023, Prince Ron is my name, and the KLF, well not really the KLF, and it's been really 
Did they really burn a million pounds? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the KLF did not, well, kind of, but it was more like the Justified Ends of the Moomoo had a book launch for 2023. I'm writing a sequel called 2046, which is being written as we speak. It is being written as we speak. This gives some TV. So we tell us. I alla fall, how the hell are So it's just like a fourth futuristic art project, and Mega Shock AKL Goyaga is the fourth and final uh, fourth futuristic art movie project. It's a short film set in the 2000s with a Bollywood filter and a pop art vibe. And uh, that is the sequel to The Tentacles of Dr. Lovsky, set in the 1990s with a Bollywood filter and a pop art vibe. The Tentacles of Dr. Olovsky is an uh, upcoming project which will be a meta film based on trailers and random footage. And it is a sequel to a completed meta film, The Oasis of Dr. Olovsky, which is naturally set in the 1980s with a Bollywood filter and a pop art vibe. Well, The Oasis of Dr. Olovsky is a meta film and it is. <laughs> Leo Vega. Yeah. 257 million uh, postcodes uh, lottery at the end. Page 157. Well, I don't have a ticket and I would still burn like uh, a million pounds, I suppose. Or would I really? Anyway, where was that? Yeah, uh, there is the Dr. Love's case, a completed meta film based on trailers to three future films. And uh, it is the sequel to the completed and uh, uh, publicly shown Sadder Shot aka The Little Garden, uh, which is naturally <laughs> set in the 1970s. I, I guess what, it's a Bollywood filter in the pop art vibe. Since it just makes sense to have three feature films uh, in honor dedicated to Jesus Manera Franco, Jess Franco, and Lino May. Lino May died in 2012. Uh, Franco died like in 2013, so Sadosaki, uh, Oasis of Dr. Lovsky and Tentacles of Dr. Lovsky are dedicated to these two persons, but with a feministic approach in C.S. Franco was not really uh, no good. But in a way, that is why the KLF are so great, or what? Well, since they kind of had a pretty good feministic approach, which is why the 400 trailer project needs to be made Due to the fact that uh, uh, El Guriaga, Megashock, is like a short film, which will be set in the 2000s, and it will have a Bollywood filter and a pop part vibe. And that's, well, that's due to the fact that I need to connect the KLF, aka the Justified in Movie, with Jesus Franco. So, free feature film and a short film. And 200 trailers for free feature films, two are meta films, and 200 trailers for Mega Shot. That creates the 400 trailer project, which will conclude in 2023 when I do plan to have a premiere for Mega Shot KKL. I fully intend to edit the Tentacles of Dr. Orlovsky next year in 2021, uh, and hopefully so. The beta version, which is free part of Sadoshock next year in some manner, and uh, that uh, will uh, also mm, hopefully be able to show the Oasis of Dr. Orlovsky. I don't really intend to screen Sadoshock, uh, the completed film, next year. We'll see what happens. It's a planned project. Uh, uh, well, it would be great to have the Oasis of Dr. Lovsky and the better version of Sadoslav's own in 2021. Then I can have the tentacles of Dr. Lovsky screened officially in 2022, which just rounds up nicely to Mega Shock, oh, McCaffrey at McDonald's, and Coca Cola Sweden Visitor Lounge, but it's closed due to COVID. Anyway, so. Yeah, this fully should explain a lot about the 400 trailer project and how Jess Franco, who wasn't really feminist at all, is connected to the KLF, who are kind of feminist. Uh, hence, like, completing the set and so forth. It's more than 10 minutes soon, but that's quite okay, since my name is still Priest Brown. Forest Futuristic Art is my name. Priest Brown is my name. 
mega sak aka El Goriaga's short film with a plan premiere in 2023 and with that again false start as you were